it's so damn hot in this room. I want to show you something before we start. This is my ventilator. Do you see that? And do you see how fast it goes? Yet it's so hot in this room. It's 8 a.m. in the morning and look how the sun is shining. Look, I will show you. You will get blindsided, so just be careful. Look at that. You can't see nothing. And I'm like, how can someone work when it's so hot? So write me in the comments, how do you fight when there is such a huge heat in a room and everywhere? Like, I just can't wrap my head around how to be productive. I don't know. So let's just go and make this video. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Marcus Ting and in today's video we are going to learn how you can make your video faster in DaVinci Resolve, how to make it slower, but most importantly, how to make the, 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 the smooth transition from going slow to going fast and then again slow. I couldn't do that in Sony Vegas and when I found out in a DaVinci Resolve, I was astonished. I knew it that... Mm, we are going to make a video on it. <laughs> I got myself here a drone footage. This is a normal speed right now. And what we want to do is to slow it down or make it faster. There are actually many ways how you can do that in DaVinci Resolve. First, I will show you the basic one. The video is rendering all the time. Right click on a video, go to change clip speed. And you can increase it to, for example, 150 or so just go to 50%. We will slow it down for now. When I click change, it's already being slower. And for example, okay, let's render a little bit. And you can see actually it's going really slow. If I'm going to zoom in, this is really great look. And you can make really good effects with it. And I will show you how to actually uh, make also effects with, with zooming in, zooming out and making video slower and faster. So this is the first way how we can make video slower and faster. But I like something even more. Let's change the speed to 100%. And now we will go and press Ctrl R, which means read time controls. What will happen that it will create in your video these arrows, the blue arrows. It means that uh, you can't change the speed of a parts of your clip. So for example, right now it's 100%. I can change speed to 400%, 50%. I can reset it to 100. But what I really like is that you can add a speed point. So let's add a speed point now. And you can see right now that it's like two clips. I can move my speed point. When it's going to grab the material, it will go slow down. And then when he will drop it off, I want it also slow down. So, and everything else will be faster. So for example, okay, this one will go on a 50. I will click here, change speed to 50. And right now you can see the video is much longer and we are going to add a different speed point. Again, here, click on the arrow, the, the black arrow here, add a speed point. And he's, when he's dropping it off, right in a moment. So for example, I don't know, we can make it. Even here. 50% and we can make this 200%. Let's see how it's going to look like. Okay, it's going much slower. We could also like zoom in a little bit. Make an animation of zooming in. Okay. When you are spinning up video, it's going to lag a little bit. And now it's going really slow because it's dropping all the material off. And what you could do is, for example, change the position. And zoom it in. 
and change the position of the video how he's dropping it off like that bang and it's pretty amazing this is how you can make it uh the transition smooth and now the another thing i want to show you how to make the transition much smoother so what you will do is just unclick your read time controls right click again on your video and go to read time curve when you will do that something like this shows uh, the lines but if it doesn't show you all you have to do is just click here on read time frame and go and click read time frame also in your inspector on your right side you need to read time process i choose many times optical flow uh, because it's smoother then or you can choose frame blend so let's just choose now optical flow and what you want to do is choose curve when you're going to choose curve in a real time frame it's going to be smoother the transitions between going slow and fast so for example this is slow this is fast this is slow i'm just going to make it big as i can all right like that and let's play it now and then I will show you the last thing, how you can freeze frame. So for example, we see that it's pretty going pretty slow and I want to again zoom in, in like that. Now, when he would get it, I would zoom out. So again, 100. Now, when I would go that he's going to the second car, I would zoom in, I would change the position. And I would zoom in right inside, for example, there. And I would play like that around it. Yep, it's too much already, but you get the idea, right? Did you, I really recommend changing the zoom, the position in your video while you are making it slower or faster. For your videos, it's going to be so effective and now is the end let's put it on a basic and the last thing i want to show you let's change the position x the real time curve and now right click again let's go to real time controls and let's freeze this frame right click and you can freeze the frame Opa. It didn't change what I wanted to change. It did something completely different. Why? So for example, okay, let's put it here. And I want to freeze this. Yep. It created a, another frame, which is going to be freezed out. So for example, this is going to be reset to 100. Reset also to this 100. And let's see how it looks like. Okay, I want to, I want to close. Wait a second. Fast. Now is the freeze. And you can make it like that. What you can do is when it's going to freeze, you can change the position while it's freezing. For example, here and here and here. I would animate the, the slow movement. So for example, let's say like that and now like freeze now i would zoom in and continue 100 percent and slowing down yep that's amazing amazing so for example okay let's see what you can do also you can reverse segment, you can rewind, and you can also make uh, the speedrun. Speedrun means that it's going to be uh, from slow, faster, 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 as you want. It will create like, okay, it's going slower. This is great, great if you want to create attention. And you get the idea from 10% to 90%. Yep, and that should be it, and you can reset the whole clip if you want.
If you have any questions, of course, write in the comments. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope it, will, it was helpful. I tried it to be helpful. And see you in the next video. Also, I'm making uh, every day two videos. Uh, I make YouTube full time. And I will make every day one video on editing and one video about YouTube tutorial. So again, thank you all and see you in the next video. Goodbye.